Hi guys. So today we'll be working on how to draw front bodies. And yeah, I already marked my shoulder to my chest, my shoulder to my bust point, my shoulder to my under bust, my shoulder to my waist, my shoulder to my hip, and this is the M line. So um what you need is uh, to get your shoulder to your ammo. I mean your ammo measurement. Do bust divided by 6 your boss divided by 6 plus 1.5 so if your box is 40 you do 40 divided by 6 plus 1 to, plus um, 1.5 so the measurement i'm using today is 36 divided by 6 plus 1.5 so when you get that you add it by one inch because normally sure that is not straight so you need to you need to consider the fact that you'll be slanting one inch up so i marked one inch here to slant my shoulder then i placed the 7.5 from here to here is 7.5 yeah and for you to start slanting your shoulder the standard is to mark from the neckline here to this place you mark three inches that's the standard you mark three inches to start slanting your shoulder so you join from three inches you join down to this part where your arm marking started so this is it this is how it should be and you need to add one half inch allowance because you need to join your sleeves that's why i added this half inch this is my normal shoulder my back measurement which is 14 but i added half inch which makes it 7.5 so let's continue is at this just point that you mark your bust so the bust we are using today is 36 36 divided by 4 is 9 36 divided by 4, 9. Then you come down to under bust. And the under bust you are using is 29. So 29 divided by 4 is um 7 inches and a quarter. 7 inches and a quarter. So for the waist, the waist you're using is 28. And 28 divided by 4 is 7 inches. And the hip, this is the hip line. So you come down to measure your hip. The hip you are using is 40 inches. 40 divided by 4 is 10. And this is the M line. So, having done all this, then what you need to do is to join everything we mark together. But before you join, we need to mark our that. And the way you get your that is to put your um your measure your tip measurement place it on your bust from one nipple to the other that's at your bust point um this for so this measurement is eight inches and eight inches divided by two gives us some um, so you mark four inches all the way down mark your that you need to come to the waist so at the waistline now i'm going to mark half inch on both sides which at the end of the day is going to give us um one inch and two inches in total after unfolding our fabric or our pattern so yeah i marked half inch here half inch here then you come to your bust point you come down by one inch at your bust point line come down by one inch then at your hip for the front bodies then at your hip you come up by two inches yeah so two inches there one inch here your hip up, you come up by two inches. At your bust point, you come down by one inch. Then you join everything together, and this is how you'll be doing that. So after joining the dots together, it's going to look this way. This is how it's going to look. And the next thing we should do now is to join our bodies together. But you can't do that because since we are going to be sewing this in, it's going to be short. So the implication is we need to return whatever we have marked here. We need to return it here because we are sewing this in when we place this on our fabric. So you come down here, you measure what is here from here to here at the under bust. Mine is five eighths of an inch. So you come here, you come after marking your your other bust measurements, you measure five eighths of an inch here. 
so anywhere you feel there will be friction you need to mark it and here yeah, at the waist you come down there to mark to check what will be taken in here so i can see one inch here therefore i'm going to be returning one inch to my measurement to my waist now so i've returned it so instead of joining to the first marking you join to the second marking because it's going to be short if we join here that's why we are returning whatever it is we, are we will be taking in here we've returned it back here so now you join everything together yeah so this is it and i want you to know that you need to add allowance to your fabric so because this is your measurement you need to consider your sewing allowance and your ease allowance so if you're sewing and you need you need to add lining and all those what have you maybe you want to sew all those dirty boy please add two inches but in case it's just a normal free top a shift dress you just consider the ease allowance so in this case i'm going to be adding one inch because i'm not adding any lining to my fabric so i'm adding just one inch allowance all the way down you can as well add two inches to your own to be on the safe side you can add one and a half to be on the safe side so this is for your allowance so having done that we need to join we need to join this ammo part together so when your ammo measurements you come up here that's at this point the beginning of the shoulder you mark it all the way down to the chest line mine is 8.5 right so what you do is you divide 8.5 by 2 and 8.5 divided by 2 is 4 and a quarter so i have 4 and a quarter here and you will come in by 1 inch here at that 4 and a quarter come in by 1 inch and at this point you place your um you place your taper this way you come up by one inch yeah so that's it come up by one inch here come in by one inch here and you join your join everything together so from this point i mean from here sorry so from this point you start joining your your ammo So this is your ammo and um, to join this together, you just bring it this way. So after sewing and all, you should find a way to balance it out. Okay, so this is the markings for the basic bodies. And for your ammo, the difference between the front ammo and the back ammo is the fact that the back ammo is going to be like this, straight all the way here, then curved here. You come up by 2 inches, you curve it here. But for the back, you need to come in by 1 inch because the back width and the front width, they are not the same. They are cross back and across front. So that's the purpose of measuring it. Normally, the difference is 2 inches. So that's why we came in by 1 inch here. So after sewing and all, you still need to check. If it's one inch so it can sit well on your chest after sewing um now i'm going to show you how to place your side bust that because normally your basic body should either have um a shoulder that or a side bust that with this so you need to choose between shoulder that and bust that alongside with this so you need to do that on your basic bodies so in this case we'll be using um or bust that the side bust that and what you need to do is to come down by two and a half inch come down by two and a half inch so this is it for me then mark one inch yeah so having marked this you come to the bust point i mean this point here this is the bust point you mark one inch backward so this is one inch you come out by one inch and then you join it together the same way we did this we came down by one inch but in this case we are coming out by one inch so this is it so this is your side bust that and if you um, remember well after marking a data at the waist we had to 
add whatever it is we are taking in here to this side and the same applies here since we've taken one inch here whatever it is that we have taken we need to return it back to the m line so the front bodies won't be short compared to the back bodies because at the end of the day your fabric is you're going to sew it this way going so what you need to do is um you measure from this midpoint to this point is five inches that's your dart plus this one inches so you come down by you come you come you mark five inches here from the hip line so i've marked five inches out so since we just took one inch here you so we also going to take one inch here since we just took one inch here you mark one inch downwards this is one inch then you join it with this point i mean you join it to this point So this is it. Let me mark it with this red pen so you can see it well. So the same thing we took here is that this is it. I marked one inch down. And from the hip line, I marked five inches, which is the same with what we have here. So this is it. Hmm? So we have everything back to the body. While joining, it's going to cover up for it and after doing this you need to come back and reshape your m line because this is the m line so we have to come down by one inch again this point and mark one inch here so this is one inch and one inch here so you join them together So this is your new inline. Let me cut this out so you can understand it. So this is how your shipping will be. This is your new inline, M line minus this that point that we took here. So when you fold it this way, because you still need to sew it. Fold it this way. Yeah. So we'll be left with this. So it's still going to be balanced. It won't be short of any fabric in terms of length. Everything is still going to be back to normal. So after this, what you need to consider is cutting your front bodies out. And please note that you don't trim it out yet because we need this to cut out the back bodies so you don't trim these out you're going to cut this way because this is how the back ammo is going to look like so you cut like this you don't cut like this yet until you've cut your back okay okay also um while joining before cutting you should take note of um adding shoulder joining allowance because while sewing you need to join your shoulder the front shoulder to the back shoulder so you'd mark half inch here half inch come up here mark half inch come up here mark half inch okay so it's going to come this way it's going to be like this So this is your shoulder joint against my front bodies on my back bodies. Now that I have it, so I can trim this off and have my perfect ammo. You come this way, then trim your perfect ammo. Just this. And for this back, the difference between the um that, this that, and for the back bodies is how long it's going to be. We don't need cross that because we don't have breast at the back. So it's just this middle that we're going to be marking. So you come down to the waist. Yeah, this is still the waist. So you do half inch on both sides as we did on the front bodies. Did half inch here, half inch here. And if you remember at the bust point, that's when we came down by one inch. You soon do the same for the back bodies. For the back bodies, you come exactly on the chest and um, you join together from the bust from the chest. So this is what you're gonna do here. For the chest, yeah, and for the hip line, you come up by 
one inch you know we did two inches for the front bodies so in this case we are going to come up by one inch so you mark one inch from the hip line and you join them together so that's all about the back that and so this is it and for this part you know we we already returned everything for the front bodies what we had they returned it here and i traced the measurements here and for the zip allowance here you come in by at the waist you come in by half inch the essence of this is for it to stick to your backbone because some fabric i mean some people after sewing you see that their zip um is bulging it's bulging out meanwhile it's not supposed to be that way so the solution is at the zip allowance you come in by half inch you mark half inch and you join it we're going to make a curve more like an s bend so this is what you do you mark it all the way down yeah even up to the top so this is it so you give it this shape please know that we are cutting this out so you can have your perfect back bodies yeah so we are cutting this out and since you are cutting it out you need to come in by half inch also at the waist here so coming by half inch do you know why i'm doing this so you will still have your complete one inch zip allowance so anything we are taking we are taking it off the bodies so this is it So that means we'll be trimming this off. So this is your new zip color ones. This. Like this. So we came in a little bit. By half inch. So everything here is one inch, one inch, one inch, one inch. After cutting out this. So that's everything about it. And then you can trim this off so this is the front and this is the back and I would advise you that on your pattern you shouldn't cut your neck yet although you should note that anything you're doing for the depth that's the same thing I mean you should note that the width that's the wideness of your neck has to be the same for front and back and the depths might differ it depends on what you want to sew so please um i would advise you don't cut your neck yet because you can keep using this pattern to cut different fabrics so you can now cut your neck on your fabric so this is the front and this is the back bodice thanks for watching